Let's see here, closest KFC. Way too far away. Looks like we got us an email for some Domino's pizza. I cannot believe I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do. This is gonna be fun. Now, let's eat us some pizza. Let's see here, closest KFC. Way too far away. Looks like we got us an email for some Domino's pizza. Domino's doesn't sound good. Pizza does sound good though, but so does fried chicken. Do you see where this is headed? I do. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm going to do what I think I'm going to do. This is going to be insane. And because we didn't already have enough garbage in this recipe. to make this thing. A few moments later. Two hours later. Let's go get our hands dirty.
moments later. That's one hell of a pizza. <laughs> I've made a fried chicken pizza. Why aren't you clapping yet? I'll wait. Health and fitness. Fitness? Fitness whole fried chicken pizza in my mouth. Oh, I've already got a Snapchat asking about when the next eating challenge will be out. Snapchat crew. Welcome to the next video. Oh yeah, guys, if you haven't already, you gotta follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. How else are you gonna know that this is happening and all the other cool shit that I do with my life? <sighs> well, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Electric Eats where we create stupid amounts of food and um, eat them. Well, let's just be honest, this isn't a stupid amount of food. This is actually one of my lower calorie challenges, strangely enough, but guys, sometimes it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Which makes me wonder why I'm drinking New Belgium Fat Tire Beer. I don't know guys, I made a fried chicken pizza on my Saturday night, come on. What we have in front of us everybody is a fried chicken pizza. Now I did realize that I forgot to use the homestyle gravy. Like I planned to as my sauce, so I just throw on extra mashed potatoes cooked in butter. I don't know why, but I've always wanted to make this. I saw that KFC actually planned on making these back in February, but whatever reason, the United States didn't get them. Actually, that kind of is a shocker. Anyways, everybody, this is all cooked myself. It only took me like three hours. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes from a box. Again, America, health, you get it. Mozzarella cheese, pepperoni. How could you go wrong? Like always, guys, I have no idea how many calories are in this because I didn't really calculate them. But chances are I'm going to be showing them probably right about there. Everyone, this is another episode of Electric Eats. This is the fried chicken pizza. Now, where do we start with all this? Hmm, good thing I have my trusty fried chicken pizza cutter. This is gonna be fun. I can say that I've pretty much done it all. I've managed to make fried chicken and pizza together. This is a monumental moment in my life. And I did it all myself. Now, let's eat us some pizza. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you serious? What can I say, guys? I'm a damn culinary genius. You know what, for being in a box, these mashed potatoes actually aren't bad. <laughs> Cheese, anyone? And you know what? I kind of am feeling gravy. Why, you ask? Because I can. And that is a slice of fried chicken pizza. This is one big bite. Damn, it's a masterpiece. What can I say? What can I say? An absolute masterpiece. I'm actually really surprised that I didn't really undercook the chicken and I didn't really overcook it. Not bad. Damn it. I wonder how many I've said during this video already. How to do it. It gives it, I mean, a good, decent amount of flavor. I know I'm pouring gravy on fried chicken, shaped into a pizza. Give me a break, right? Yeah, about halfway through. You know, apart from slaving weight during making this actual if you even want to call it fried chicken, I'd say that this was a, 
pretty big success here. Unspoken rule, but you're not really supposed to eat pizza with a fork, at least where I come from. But in this case, I think it's okay. Oh, man. You know, it's actually really funny. Got ketchup for this. I haven't got a barbecue sauce. I'm just not even eating any of them. It's like a first for me. This is the last of the chicken, I think, underneath this. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. No, I think that was the last of the chicken. Wrong again, Eric. Now it's definitely the last of the chicken. <laughs> ah, I gotta show you guys the money shots. That was a lot of potatoes, man. Well guys, because this is the part in the video where I get my last bite speech usually. Oh. Ugh, it's just been killing me. I can say that I today have made a pizza combined with fried chicken. Everybody, this has been the fried chicken pizza challenge and another episode of Electric Eats. vegetable just have potatoes oh well well everybody this has probably been my uh funnest challenge yet probably not my highest calorie challenge but one that i definitely actually just enjoyed making if you guys haven't already check me out on patreon it's a great way for you guys to support us youtube creators that take time out of their day to make youtube videos and for me in particular to be able to financially fund challenges like this and also you guys check me out on my social media as well facebook snapchat twitter instagram you know the drill. And before I go guys, let me know what you guys think of the whole Electric Eats series. I do like making my own recipes and I definitely have a lot more of these type of recipes to show you guys. So let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video everybody and uh... Go right ahead.